Yep, Chicago is going to fail. Well, it's been failing for a while, and the, uh, the death spiral will continue. This is what happens, people. Elections have consequences. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't mean to have this sound flippant. And I know I'll get some blowback from this, but I, I, I don't care. I, 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 I honest to God, I, I don't care. If I was to address the people of Chicago, I'd say, get the bleep out now. Get out. If you haven't gotten out already. Okay, get out. Uh, I remember. Um, uh, I, I remember this is back. This is after, right after Barack Obama got elected, and uh, Rush Limbaugh. I think he did an, an editorial. I don't know it was the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, probably the Wall Street Journal. And uh, it was a short piece about Obama, and there, everybody was writing pieces about what. Uh, what they expect out of Obama, what they hope out of Obama. And uh, Limbaugh's piece was, I, I hope he fails. Oh my God, how could you wish such a thing? And, and again, if you actually read the column, um, he wants his policies uh, to, to fail. He doesn't want his policies enacted because he knew what they would do to the country. And um, let's be honest here, people. Um, I know you got a lot of Obama fans here and you kind of uh, miss the days where uh, maybe politics wasn't so crazy, uh, if you know what I mean. But um, again, everything that Obama tried didn't work. I mean, it's, again, you go to the videotape. Go take a look at the record. Uh, coming off a, a downturn, great recession, we had the worst bounce back ever. I mean, every year they they roll some other big government program, some other nonsensical bit out. Remember, Biden was out there traveling the country touting, uh, oh, yeah, it's recovery summer. It's a recovery that never happened until they gave up. They eventually gave up. And that was when Obama was saying, well, you know, uh, Americans, uh, we've been, you know, we got to learn to accept lower growth, slower growth moving forward. No, no, Barack. Um, we just need to get uh, your policies and big government out of the way. All right, take that and put that aside. Uh, let, let's take a look at, at Chicago. And um, Chicago's going to fail. It's going to fail. Um, again, this is how our country is supposed to work. It's what Jefferson wanted, little laboratories and states and uh, certain municipalities out there. So they got rid of... Uh, Mayor Lightfoot, and they replaced Mayor Lightfoot with somebody that is even further to the left, if that's if that's possible. It, it is. Um, this is the um, Chicago Teachers Union uh, pushed uh, pushed this candidate Brandon Johnson over the edge, and uh, he won with all of the money that they have. Again. Um, I'm sorry, teachers unions to me are, are some of the most evil organizations on the planet. They are. They're, they're just, they're, they're not interested in t teaching kids. I remember during COVID with all their little freaking heart symbols and we need to shut down schools, stay home, stay safe. How about this? Okay. You can take your stay home and stay safe crap and you can put it where the sun don't shine. I know it's Holy Week. I shouldn't be talking like this. Calm down, Chris. Anyway, um, again, you got this guy, uh, Brandon Johnson. Okay, let's, let's go through what his belief system is. He is for. He's for defunding the police. Again, every weekend in Chicago, I mean, they, they stopped doing it. I mean, they, they stopped announcing how many people were killed every single weekend. But anyway, uh, defund the police. He defends uh, looting as an outbreak of incredible frustration and anguish tied to a failed racist uh, system. Yeah. Um, again, uh, Chicago's educational system. One in 20 black students at Chicago public schools can do math at the grade level. One in 20. Um, did we get a, 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 a new mayor that's going to champion higher standards, greater math proficiency, greater proficiency in reading? No. Now, he, he was a, a teacher. He's already said that when he was a teacher, he um, 
well, pushed to eliminate standards. And he stopped giving homework. He reduced test prep as a way of rebelling against the structure. For him, the concept of equity, not excellence, will dominate and kids will lose. Again, um, taxes. He's a guy that uh, wants to continue to, I mean, raise taxes big time. If you take a look at some of the things that he wants to put forward, they're, they're patently absurd. So what are you, you going to see happen? You're going to continue to see more businesses leave. I think what last year was Citadel, Monster, Caterpillar, and Boeing. And, you know, I, I would question any CEO who decides to keep their company in that, you know, failed city. I would. I'd, I'd question it. Um, people, again, you get the government you deserve. You do. And I, I understand. I mean, I, from time to time, yeah, I'm more on the, the, the weekend show than we do here on the podcast you know, you, you see stories and you just, you, you throw your arms up in the air and you say to yourself, how's that possible? Yeah, this past week you had a garage attendant in New York City. Garage attendant in New York City that um, uh, defended himself. Defended himself, was, was catching a burglar and uh, got shot twice. Got shot twice, managed to wrestle, listen, managed to wrestle a gun away from the robber shot the robber back and the, um, the garage attendant was charged with attempted murder. The garage attendant. When he was at the hospital nursing his wounds, he was actually handcuffed to the bed. Now, uh, again, at, at some point in time, now you want to talk about real civil disobedience, okay? It's just civil disobedience. It's pushing back against moronic superiors. Who the hell... I, I want to know who the cop was that read, read that garage attendant who was shot twice by a robber. Who read him his rights? Shame on you. You should quit. How, I mean, how could you agree to do something like that? It's, it's like the, the, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the Nazis and, well, I don't know. We're just following orders. We're just following orders. You're just following Hitler's orders. You don't have to follow orders. I'd rather quit than do something that is completely ridiculous, completely immoral. Again, the news made the New York Post. And uh, again, they, they dropped the charges. Again, you, you live in some of these lawless cities. And again, I might throw people off a little bit here. I'm, I'm all for, I said it before. Put a sign out in front of your shore. Looters will be shot. Period. The end. Yeah, here's the story. I'm not making this one up either. I'm not making this one up. A, a, a stepfather. This guy was freed without bail. After allegedly choking his 15-year-old stepson to death. He was freed without bail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some easygoing judge in the Bronx said, hey, it's okay, let him go. Well, again, news got out and he was finally rearrested um, this week. Finally rearrested this week. Well, you know, maybe if this guy that that choked his um choked his steps on well, maybe maybe if he had uh falsified business records, maybe they would have taken it a little bit more seriously. I, I, how do you how do you deal with something like this? I, I know how I would. Yeah, I'm brutally honest here, and I know people are going, "All right, you're inciting violence and vigilantism." Um, they don't find a body. Yeah, there's no murder there. Um, you're gonna mess with my loved ones, my family, people I care about. See ya. Anyway, watchdog on WallStreet.com.